Hey guys, welcome to Brickstars. Today we're going to be doing a redesign of another LEGO Yellow Castle faction. So if you've seen some of our previous videos, we've already dabbled in this a little bit. Here's a look at the Yellow Castle once again. This was an iconic set from way back in the day. You can see the box, the box art. Epic, epic looking set for, for that day and age and it's kind of stood the test of time. It featured a lot of different minifigures. Of course, the Golden Crown Knights accented with pink were the main knights, but we did also get a couple other knights, the blue and yellow clubs, the green chevrons, and these white knights with a red shield and a white Maltese cross. The set came with a sticker sheet that shows off all these different design elements. We've posted videos in the past and a lot of people have told us, well, they weren't different factions or back in the day, um, they didn't necessarily mean that they were different kingdoms. Each knight kind of had their own heraldry. So this looks great. There's a lot of variety here. You can see the original shields have a mix of color and design elements. And of course, Legos started to bring back some of these shields. So as we know, we received the crown knights, we've received the shields in the Lion Knight's castle with the green chevrons and the clubs, and we've taken a stab at modernizing and bringing back the Maltese cross shield as well. Here's a look at the knight that we got in the collectible minifigure series, and a couple knights that we've redesigned as well with the new shields. Of course, we're inspired by the original Yellow Castle and we're on a mission to redesign all the knights in that set. So you can see we've done the green chevrons, we've done the trefoils already and now we're doing what we call the Knights of the Maltese Cross. You know this is a faction that we're kind of imagining they're more kind of the hospital uh, knights that go out and gather the knights that are injured and here's some inspiration that we had so they typically wore white and red they had a lot of chain mail the cross is prominent a lot of different belts swords so really we kind of like the colors and the symbols of it um we're not sure why lego didn't bring this shield back maybe they didn't want to align with uh crusaders too much but just from an aesthetic standpoint we felt we wanted to redesign this this shield as well so starting it off we actually are going to do something pretty simple and just use the build a minifigure torso from a couple years ago a gryffindor sword and our shield to put together this looking red looking knight lots of red details here so you can see we think this torso and the chainmail pairs nicely with these legs, the touches of red on the shield, the cape, it splashes of color gray and red. So we think this works really well for this minifigure and we didn't get too carried away with a whole new redesign when this part works really well. Next up, we take the Black Falcon minifigure torso, which we commonly do. Even here with just the Maltese cross, it looks great. Add a bit of white and here's a look at what a knight could potentially look like with those changes. So this one is a very iconic looking Maltese knight. We decided to keep the arms kind of this dark gray, dark pearl gray to match the legs, but again, we've recolored it white to go along with what those knights typically wore. The red shield on the chest, very prominent and a simple red shield. We also gave him a red plume to balance out the colors. Next up, we took the legs from the Lion Knight's Queen and our own design torso to make this kind of, we call him the wise advisor. Um, he could have been more of a religious figure perhaps as well, but we think he looks great with this white cloak. And here we can see the first bit of gold that we've introduced to kind of tie things in. We really wanted these knights and this faction to look very royal and rich. Next up, we have an armored knight, starting off with this knight from the collectible minifigure series. We think these legs work great. Uh, in this case, we wanted to use a round shield to add some variety to the triangular shields that we typically use. And you can see we feature a strong chest plate here, a belt featuring a prominent red and white Maltese cross. And again, the round shield we think works really good with this design. 
here's another view of him kind of running into action running into battle so the the touches of gray the different colors of gray we think work really well for this faction the light gray the dark gray and the red just pops very very simple colors but we think they work great together next up we use the falcon knight collectible minifigure legs and our own torso design to create this archer and in this case we made the arms red we think this adds some variety and we just love how the white red and brown work together so really cool looking minifigure we would love to build an army of these here's a look at how they would look and on some of them you can maybe swap the arms out to make them white or brown to kind of add your own variety but a simple torso that has a lot of variety that could create a lot of different minifigures and last but not least we decided to make kind of this royal almost cloaked soldier and nothing crazy here we just love this bear knight torso print and we think it looks great in red so like we said nothing crazy sometimes we don't reinvent the wheel we just take what's good and the chainmail works great we wish lego gave us these kind of standard printed pieces that don't have any insignia on them in different colors so that you could customize your own knight minifigures so here's a look at the overall design package the shield both triangular and round and a look at some of the torsos we designed so again we really wanted to focus on the chainmail focusing on the gray the red and little touches of gold here and there and now a look at the whole squad compiled together you can see the color balance we tried to keep things white and red with with touches of that metallic gray so we really like how this faction turned out actually and we'll see here how it compares to some of the other ones we've redesigned it's perhaps a bit more muted it doesn't have the yellow and green boldness of the chevrons it doesn't have maybe the uniqueness of the burgundy and burgundy and navy of the trefoils but we still think it looks pretty sharp here you can see some other minifigures and really nice contrast to the set that we already have and if you followed us you'll know this is now the third faction we've redesigned so that leaves one more so we'll hope to get that one out soon as well and finally just a look at potentially what they would look like in a yellow castle setting this was a quick kind of build we did just to get the colors and you can see the minifigures really stand out we we love how this looks the simple red flag with the white maltese cross the minifigures here one's running into battle one's on the lookout man we would just love to get a remake of this set and modernized prints so that's why we've designed them thank you guys for watching this quick little video on our redesign of the maltese cross knights let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time